Welcome back to PokeMMO. This time we're going to continue onward a little bit. You might have, uh, oh wait, I forgot to do that. Yeah, I was, uh, I was grinding my Pokemon just a little bit just to get them the required level that I wanted them at. Did I already beat this trainer? Or no? No, okay. So I went back to the Pokemon Center and then I just grinded then near the entrance just a little bit more just to get all these Pokemon to level 34, which is the level I usually like them at. I usually like the uh, starters at least two levels higher than all the others, so as you can see it's it's a little unique uh, unique kind of system. I know some people usually go three, four, five, one even. That was really weird, that was like one difference though, but I've seen a lot of people do that. I like two because then like if um Pidgeotto was like supposed to evolve at like level thirty six, which I don't know, I think it's like thirty six or thirty eight or something like that. But let's say like Pidgeot evolved at level 36, my Charizard's still two levels higher, so if Pidgeot doesn't do much damage, at least I got a Charizard ne next in the... next, that is a flying type. So it'll still be pretty good. Okay, just his wing attack again. I know I didn't put Pidgeot over there because Pidgeot was pretty weak. No, I also did it for Nido King, and I did it also for Gyarados because well, from what I've actually been uh, been known to do is that I've been known to use rare candies a lot, and then I say, "Oh, I've been grinding," and then a lot of people go, "No, you've just used rare candies." Well, in Pokemon, I can't use rare candies because you can only get twenty, and you can't really cheat because then you get kicked out of that game. So, yeah, big problem there. Houndor. Condors only need six more levels than evolves. Yay! And uh, a lot of people have been asking me, for from my friend's channel, telling me, oh, why can't uh, you put uh, Larvitar in your party? Well, I can't. Well, why can't. Uh, well, I, I don't really remember what they said. Oh, yeah, I never remember. Um. You have more than six Pokemon from where you told us, and I think it was the first or the second episode. I'm not quite sure. They said in an episode that me and Bikers One One said we're only allowed six Pokemon, and or we said we were only gonna have six Pokemon. Well, I don't know what Bikers One One uh, meant by that, but I thought it meant like, oh, we're only allowed to catch at least like four, except for the starter, but like catch five Pokemon and keep it in our party. These are considered as caught, but to another person, but traded. So I don't think that clarifies what Blackers Only One meant. But if he meant in different, then oh dear God! Okay. Uh, Tyro. Attack. What was it? Attack and I think special attack or something. I don't know. I think. No. Alright, we are out. Yay! So I'm gonna go heal the Pokemon because my Pidgeotto got hit. And I don't know why, but Pidgeotto got hit. Pretty bad. And. Uh, Lavender Town, you already got a dark history, so I'm not even gonna stay here too long. If you don't know, apparently about 200 kids apparently in Japan committed suicide because of the Tower of Lavender music. I don't know, I, I heard it from a lot of videos though, and I'm like, okay, we get it. But it's just so weird that a kid's game would represent death in some parts. Herman! What do you got, Herman? You've got a Cubone. Now you got a Steel Wing. Is your Cubone gonna survive a Steel Wing? Uh, it did pretty good. Quick attack. And the AC is not awesome, so you guys get to hear my door open. No, I'm joking. Now I get some cold AC air. No, I'm joking. <laughs> is it I don't know I think it was the Oblivion or the Skyrim video at one point though but it was like really steaming in here and I didn't know why my light was off 
my uh, door was closed, so not really much uh, hot air coming in though, but still pretty weird. Also, I'm doing my Skyrim video in the background, so while we're play while I'm playing this, not really you guys, but while I'm playing this, um, my uh, Windows Live Movie Maker is actually uh, putting my Skyrim video together. And I had a little bit of a problem with my Skyrim video because on I think one part on uh, in about uh, 3 minutes 43 seconds and 29 milliseconds to 3 minutes 45 I think that is about 45 and point 21 seconds well, milliseconds um, there was nudity involved because apparently before I clicked the gold the armor was first and the armor showed up nudity and so what I did is I had to try and edit it now I thought I could use the trim tool to you know like trim it off and all that doesn't work so I'm like oh well this is gonna be a challenge so Lucian tells me why don't you try a split tool because the split tool is gonna let it split uh, that part off and then you can do it that way now I'm like that could work, but we'll, we'll see how far that goes. So I try it, and it works. You don't see it anymore. But it is cutting a little bit off the video, though, so you guys are going to be like a little, little bit confused. But don't worry, the uh, future part, or if it's the same video, will say, oh, this is the reason why, and then you guys get to go, oh, okay, so at least we now, now we know. Okay, what do you, you got? Oh, you got, you're going to learn roar. Attack or defense? Well, that's special, and I think that's special as well. I'm going by new, new, uh, by like generation five right now. So how? Yeah, I don't think we got much attacks. And Rora is pretty good. It gets rid of those wild Pokemon pretty easily too. Well, the wild Pokemon you don't want for a duration amount of time. I don't like you. Wow, what a jerk. The reason why uh, Pidgeotto is first is because uh, it has the lowest health, and that's what I usually do if Pokemon are at the same level. Is that I always go by health. So if like Pidgeotto had like 200 health, as you can see, it's got like 91 or something like that, 97. And Nido King has about 102. So Nido King is obviously going to be second because Yaris has 122 or something like that, 121. Yeah, so there you go. What's your happiness level? Happiness level is 43. Whoa. What's yours? 90. The why is the Pidgeotto's lower? Okay. Steel wing, sand attack, bone attack, quick attack. Hmm. Wing attack. Charger's probably like 100. Yep, new one. I don't think they changed the trading thing for starters, but I could be wrong. I think they did. But, as I said, I don't know. I haven't tested it out. But you can get... Actually, I shouldn't really spoil it, because I don't think anybody probably knows this just yet. Although the chat is flooding with stuff that could probably just give it away. Who doesn't want me to? I don't want me to. Although I did say that in an episode, I don't care. I don't want Mewtwo anymore because Mewtwo is just too overpowered. It is going to help me be Koga, but I don't care. Koga's already a pushover, so it doesn't matter. Just get a ground type and. and just kill him. <laughs> That's all I can say, just get a ground type and just kill him. Or get a Charger or Flamethrower and just Flamethrower him. That's what I did. Just flamethrower him. He's just too weak. I think this is the last trainer. Then we can head inside and check up on the tower because I think we need to go to the tower. I don't know. Who knows a dark move actually? A dark or ghost move, at least. Garros does. Is my treasure no one? No. Hmm. Needle King knows something that might actually harm them? 
He knows two moves that won't harm them. Actually, I think he knows three. I think Peck's the only thing that's going to work. Pidgeotto knows, I think, like three moves. Now, the sand attack doesn't affect it, then, well, only two. Steel Wing got hit. Yeah, I think Steel Wing has a chance of increasing attack or something like that. Does it? Oh, it may also increase the user's defense. Okay, so it might increase my PDO's defense. Oh, okay. I guess wing attack. Wing attack's pretty good. Um, does it say when it's going to evolve or no? Hmm. No. Yeah, I was going to learn a feather, da uh, feather dance, and I said no. Wasn't isn't speed like a perfect birds thing? Yeah. Speed. Okay. Good to know. Hmm. Quick attack. Quick attack's just good to get rid of that little sliver right there. Just get it out of there. An onyx. I don't think my Pidgeotto can take an onyx, but we'll see. Steel wing again. It probably can't, but Oh, it, it did, it did, it, it's still pretty good, it's, it's, uh, oh, that's a pretty bad thing, uh, still wing once more, hit it, if it doesn't hit it, it can probably die, yeah, hit it, alright, we, we did it, we did it, let's just randomly click, and so, Oblivion and, uh, Minecraft probably will be on hold for, I think, uh, just a little bit, or just a complete stop for it. Just so that with the Pokemon Mo, Skyrim, um, Tactical Ops. Well, Tactical Ops is just there somewhere. And then Oblivion Guides will probably come back up a little bit until I figure it out another way. I don't know if skills, like, an easier way to get skills up is technically a guide, but just in case you guys wanted me to do that, I will. But it is kind of cheating, but still, eh. Depending on how you guys want it. I'm a channeler. Can't yeah, start bringing bag on. Yeah, I love doing that. Hey, Mr. Bomo. My name is Asshole. Hold on, joking. <laughs> what brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? Hey, it's alive. I can at least make them faint. Let's go. Yeah. If you remember from the SSN, he has a Raticate. And when you go to Lavender Town, it is the only time. But you will not see him have his Raticate anymore in existence. He will not have one at all. So it's only safe to say though that his Raticate died. We must pay our respects. And it is over, okay. <laughs> and now it is time to kill all his Pokemon. He's tr he, he thinks he can make my Pokemon faint, yet mine hasn't even taken one damage yet. No, I'm joking right now, but not much damage to faint make it faint though. Yeah, you just screwed your Growlithe. Good job. See, I'm right. He just screwed his Growlithe. Dead. Next. I don't know if Pokemon Mode did change it though. But I do know in Fire Red, Leaf Green, and Ruby, and. No, not Ruby. Um, red and Blue, I think, had that. It was really funny. Alright, Pidgeotto is now level. Did it just get up by 2 health or 3? I think it was 2. Alright, go Gyarados. Gyarados should have an advantage, but I could be wrong, so. Yeah. Use Bite. Oh, never mind. Use Bite, because Bites look pretty good in this kind of situation. War Turtle. Yeah, this one's a tricky one. I'll just bite, though. Wait, isn't that the same level that Pidgeotto was? 25? Hmm. It's pretty weird, pretty weird though, that the first Pokemon is, like, the same as his, uh, his starter.
All right, so we have defeated asshole. <laughs> you stinger! Wow, what a nice guy. He got a cube bone. I didn't see him have a cube bone. It was in his PC box. Okay, now we got Nido King out in front. And I don't think we can. No, no, we can't do that. All right, so I will probably avoid most trainers around here because I feel like it, and because it is my duty to do that. All right, so when we get to the fourth gym, I will do something that nobody has ever seen me do, which is kill every trainer in there, or beat every trainer. Nobody in my French channel has ever seen me do this. I usually like to skip to the gym later as much as possible, get that done and out of the way. But for Pidgeotto, I'll make an exception, because I really want to get a Pidgeot, because Pidgeots are pretty powerful. Well, they're more powerful than most flying types. Usually the starter birds are usually more powerful than most birds. I know Skarmory is like the most like very good defensive bird there is or something like that. So it's still pretty good, but eh, to me it's not really much of a big deal. Alright, so let us continue onward. So Celadon City, or Keladon City, whatever you want to pronounce it as, is like supposed to be like one of the most famous cities or something like that, or one of the most biggest cities. I'm going to actually show you the game corner and all that, and how to get the coin case, because apparently a lot of people still ask me about that. How do you get the coin case? Oh yeah, that's right, you can't get stuff. You can't actually see them without the game the coin case. So this is how you get the coin case. Get around here. Go down to the first door, then you go here, then you go to this old man over here. You don't go to the fat guy or the guy down there. You go to this guy, talk to him. Go ahead, laugh. I'm flat out busted. No more slots for me, I'm going straight. Here, I won't be needing this anymore. You receive a coin case, and then that's how you get a coin case. Or don't talk to the waiters, not. I don't really care. Okay, so here's how you. So, here's what I really wanted to show you guys. I think it's the middle one, but it could be the left to right. Okay, so it is the middle one. So, now, you can get a oh, Wiggly Tough. Cool. You can get EV at a cost of four sixes. You can get all the starters for 1500 which is a pretty decent deal. I don't know what level you get them at, though, so... That's a... That's a definite, uh, whoops, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know, but, eh, still, it's still pretty pretty good to have those. Alright, so let's go take on the fourth gym, I believe. I think this is the fourth. If not, then I'm, I'm, I'm really wrong. I must be really terrible at this game, then. Gym leader? Yeah, the gym leader's here, okay. Let's place you... Why does that guy have a Squirtle? Bad place for a Squirtle. So a Squirtle is definitely in his inventory. He probably has an EXP share on it or something. I don't know. He probably has something really good on it or something like that. Like some kind of ice move on it or something. I don't know. But what I might do off screen is like do some slots and all that. Get some more uh, TMs and all that that I need. But what I really do need though is Brick Break. The reason why is because I really want to get uh, Nido King to learn something better than just double kick. The double kick not really one of the best moves, well, the best fighting moves. Although when you start uh, facing against Brock, I believe in yellow or something red bluish. I don't know if it's just yellow, but uh, you can get a Nidoran, female or male, whatever you wanted uh, on the first uh, before the first gym. And I think that was a really good idea because Double Kick is at level 13, so it's still pretty decently level 2, but it's still pretty bad. I don't know. Is it still Cycle 2? Well, I'd have my, uh... Alright. 
Oh, okay. Where's a good place to EV train defense? Bag on. <laughs> That's a great place to EV train for defense. Uh, I will probably move a bag onto this camp. What is current level? Uh, wing attack? Well, wing attack's not the current level, though, but that's what this guy says. Five. Good job. Ish. Alright, Bulbasaur. I wish I was Team Rocket, I'd steal it. No, I'm just kidding. Naivizor? Hmm. I might have to change myself to being a Team Rocket. Growing no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'd be better than most runs, actually. Because, yeah, I don't have a Zubat. <laughs> Nor do I have a Rattata. We do have a Meow Meowth, so I can be considered. Can he talk English? No. He's Spanish. No, I'm joking. <laughs> he talks Pokemon and whatever. Oh my god, people who are starting to like trade in the global chat are really dumb. You trade in the trade chat. You don't trade in the global chat. If you trade in the global chat, everybody's gonna go, why don't you go to the trade chat? Oh, that's so terrible. That's terrible. Everybody's looking for Generation 4 Pokemon. Wait, can't they use stuff in the hard gold, soul, silver thing to make like the Generation Four Pokemon, or is that like pretty difficult? Can't they like take a file from it or something like that, or can't they like incorporate it into there? I don't know, but. It sounds like they. It, it looks like they could because they already got the uh, sprites on the back. So it looks like they could actually do it. Hmm. What should I use? Stealing or wing attack? Wing attack. Wait. What? What increases psychic moves? What does a twisted spoon do? Oh, okay. Let me take again. Where do I find it? You find it in the kitchen. Get it? Because it's a spoon. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Why is everybody telling or asking what is Poke shiny Pokemon worth? Like, are you serious? Why would you ever trade it? It's really weird. Alright, so it's... Oh, so close. So close, Pidgeotto. I know I shouldn't be raising Pidgeotto, because it's going to be the same level as my Charizard, but I'm trying to get uh, Pidgeotto to evolve. So let's see, what are you going to evolve? Are you going to evolve? You're pretty close. You're level 36. Are you going to evolve? Oh, it evolved. Yeah. Awesome, it evolved. So if you don't know, Pidgeot's pretty powerful. It's a pretty good flying type. It's got a pretty good aerial advantage, too. I think it's pretty fast, too. I could be wrong about that, but I think it's pretty fast. I'm raising a lot of its speed, so it should be like, yeah, it's really fast. 
So I'm gonna raise up my Charizard now because apparently a Pokemon is tied with it. No, I'm joking. How many Stardust do you have? Alright, let's use Wing Attack. <laughs> I think I have like seven Nuggets on my uh, Drum Run Maze character. I don't know, I got like a lot of stuff I should sell. 29 Stardust. What the frick? Is there a Pokemon you can take a nugget from? Because that would be pretty cool to have. You can actually survive in a duel? What? Oh, I should have done that. No, I'm joking. Can you have more than one character in an account? Help. <laughs> Why you help? Up to three. Yeah, I've already done that because my dummy character has like three accounts. Alright, so let's see. Is everybody pretty decently level? 34, 34, 36, and then 11, and then 23. Oh, he's about to evolve soon. <gasps> I can't wait till I get a hound dude. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Oh, if he learns. If he learns Crunch, he could save me and. The freaking six gym battle. Oh, that'd be so epic. Victory bell. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have the victory. <laughs> you can have the bell. Whatever. Uh, whatever. I win. I win. That's it. That's it. Whenever you throw out Charizard onto a grass gym, you win no matter what. Cause watch, I win no matter what. No matter what I win. Yeah, so you know what? You know what? I win. Uh, no, it's just so easy to win. It's just so easy to win against the grass gym. It's easy. Hounders of all, yay! We now got a houndoom. Good job, me. Good job. Good job. Now I've got a houndoom. Now we can kick everybody's butt with fire times two. Get it? Because I got Charizard too. <laughs> it's so funny. Alright, so let's, let's go. Let's see what you've got. Got a really weird move set, but whatever. Alright, so we beat the fourth gym, I believe. Let's see, do we have four gym badges? <gasps> that means I can use a new Pokemon. Which one will I eliminate? Uh... Well, I could use Houndoom for the uh, sixth gym, but it's going to take a lot of levels, so. Do I really want to use Houndoom, or do I really want to use a Pokemon that's guaranteed crunch at a certain level? I like the guaranteed crunch at a certain level, so. Sorry, Houndoom, we're just gonna have to get rid of you, buddy. For a different Pokemon. Oh, cool, a shiny Crobat. So, guess what that means? We got Larvitar! And then I can get rid of. <gasps> that means I can get rid of Meowth at one point, and then. I should have like lost to the gym, so that way I can get like a lot of levels on my avatar, but whatever. All right, so let's give it to XP share. I don't remember what level avatar evolves at. I think it's like 30. I think then it's like 55 after that, so it's like really it's gonna take a while. Okay, so avatar. Do you even have a dark? Oh, you do. Up to attack if suffering. <gasps> Don't we'll learn Sandstream at like level 55 or whatever? Or Sandstream's ability will change. So that is it for today, guys. Tomorrow we'll continue with some more Pokemon. And before we end the episode, 
Let's go get Brick Break. I think Larvitar can learn it too, so we might be able to get two, I think. If not, I'll teach it to Tyranitar whenever we get it. It's gonna be awesome. Hi there, may, may I help you? Yes. I would like to, uh. Yeah, buy two of those. Thank you. So let's see. Can Larvitar learn it though? See, that's the big question. It can! Doesn't Treasure already know it though? Doesn't Treasure already know it? Yeah, he does. Pretty weird. Okay, so he. Treasure can learn it again. And so can Edo King. That is just strange. Uh, let's get rid of, um. Let's get rid of Theory. Break, break, move all the way up. Sandstorm, move there. And then there we go. Alright, so. I guess that is it for today. Tomorrow we'll do some more. And I'm sorry if I did this outro twice. But I don't care. I'm going to have to probably do it again. So goodbye, guys. See you guys tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. Goodbye.